Hi, welcome to another Polkadot tutorial. Today's topic is about the difference between having a staking proxy and a controller while staking on the Polkadot network. The first scenario I'm going to show you is the one using the Stash account and the controller account. The controller is signing for those transactions that are performed more often, such as unbonding, rebonding, nominating, and changing the reward destination, while the Stash account is used for those transactions that are performed less often, like bonding more funds and changing the controller. Remember that unless you are joining a staking pool, staking on Polkadot as a nominator is not a set and forget action. You will need to monitor the performance of your, of your validator, which means that nominating is something that you will perform more often than bonding more funds. And also remember that whenever you are signing something with an account, you are exposing its private key to the internet, which means that this private key can be potentially stolen. And an account as the stash is something that we would will, we will like to keep as isolated as possible, because this is an account with the highest economic power that we are using for staking. In this scenario here, the stash is still used for bonding more funds and changing the controller. That's why I would like to introduce the second scenario here that uses a staking proxy. In this scenario, the stash is also the controller and is uh, fully isolated and the staking proxy is signing for all staking related transactions. From a practical point of view, we have um, one account that we need to use and one password that we need to remember to sign for the staking related transactions. But from a security point of view, we have a little problem because um, we are using this account to sign for transactions that are performed more often and transactions that are performed less often which means that uh, when we'll have to bond more funds, this account has been already used for uh, these other staking related transactions. And if an attacker wants to take control, it means that uh, he has to focus, focus only on one account. In the third scenario here, we are using both the staking proxy and the controller. The controller is used to sign for those transactions that are performed uh, more often, like in the, the first scenario here, and the staking proxy is used to sign for those transactions that are performed less often. And in the first scenario, these were the signature that were assigned to the stash. So now the stash is uh, also fully isolated, like uh, in the second scenario here, but we have this division of uh, the staking related uh, transaction between the controller and the staking proxy. From a security point of view, this is an improvement compared to the second scenario because we have uh, these uh, two accounts and an attacker, in order to take control, he needs to uh, control two accounts and not only one. But from a practical point of view, we need uh, to use two accounts to, and remember two passwords. Before diving into the demonstration of these three scenarios, if you find these videos helpful, please hit the like and subscribe buttons below as this will help other people to find our content. And uh, if there is something that you are interested in that we didn't cover yet, drop us a message. To demonstrate the first scenario here, we have Eleanor, that is a Stash account, and Frank, that is the controller account, and we will see how Eleanor can only bond more funds and change the controller while uh, Frank can sign for all the other staking related transactions. So we can go here, bond more funds, and we can see we can sign with a stash, we can sign with Eleanor, while for example, if we want to change the reward destination, we can sign with Frank, the controller. We go to the next scenario here. The stash is also a controller, so we need to uh, make Eleanor also a controller. So we go and change controller account. We select Eleanor. We can see here distinct stash and controller accounts are recommended to ensure fund security. This is the recommendation of using two different accounts for the stash and the controller. But because here we are using a staking proxy, for us it's not important because we will not use the stash to sign for any staking related transaction. So we can go ahead and set Eleanor as controller. Eleanor is now a stash and a controller account. Now what we need to do is to assign a staking proxy. We go to the accounts tab, we search for Eleanor, we select add proxy, we want to add a staking proxy, 
and we select Charlie as a staking proxy. If we go under Proxy Overview, we can check that Charlie is a staking proxy of Eleanor. We go back to the Staking tab under Accounts, and now we can check that we can use the staking proxy to bond more funds, but also to change the reward destination, for example. Bond more funds. We can use Charlie, we can use the staking proxy. We can also select and choose to use uh, the Stash account, but we don't want to do that because we will compromise the security of the Stash because we are signing with it. So the idea here is that we always enable this uh, option to sign with the staking proxy. Now we are in the third and last scenario. We keep the staking proxy, so we keep Charlie, but we need to set a controller that is different from the stash. So we go here, change controller account, we select Frank, and we set it as a controller. Now we have a controller and a staking proxy. We will see that we can use the staking proxy only for bonding more funds and changing the controller. And we can use the controller for all the other staking related transactions, such as changing the reward destination. We can go here, bond more funds. We can use Charlie. We can always select and uh, use Eleanor. So these transactions here will be signed by the stash, but we don't want to do that for security reason. So we always enable this. And uh, we can also change the reward destination. But in this case, we will use Frank. We will use the controller. All right, I hope you learned something today about using staking proxies and controller accounts while staking on the Polkadot network. And I'll see you in another video.